Want to become a smarter investor? Of course you do. Everyone wants to make wise investment choices. Well, I'm here to tell you about a powerful tool that can help the Traynor Ratio. It's all about understanding how much risk you're taking on for every unit of return you expect. Think of it like this. Would you rather earn a 10% return with low risk or a 12% return with sky-high risk? The Traynor Ratio helps you quantify that risk-return trade-off. It's a mathematical formula that measures the excess return generated by an investment or portfolio compared to the risk-free rate of return, all in relation to the investment's beta. Beta, in simple terms, tells you how volatile an investment is compared to the overall market. So buckle up and get ready to learn how the trainer ratio can empower you to make smarter investment decisions and potentially boost your portfolio's performance. The trainer ratio, named after the economist Jack L. Trainer, is a key tool for any serious investor. It's all about understanding risk and reward. In essence, it tells you how much extra return you're getting for taking on a certain level of risk. The higher the trainer ratio, the better the risk-adjusted performance of your investment. Imagine you're at a carnival, and you're trying to decide which game to play. Some games offer small prizes but are easy to win, while others have huge jackpots but are much harder to beat. The trainer ratio is like having a secret weapon that tells you which game gives you the best chance of winning big relative to the risk or cost of playing. In investing, the prize is your return, and the cost is the risk you're taking on. The trainer ratio helps you figure out which investments are giving you the most bang for your risk. Now you might be thinking, hey Jim, this trainer ratio sounds a lot like the sharp ratio I've heard about. What's the difference? Well, you're right. They are both risk-adjusted performance measures, but they have different strengths and weaknesses. The sharp ratio considers both systematic risk, which is market volatility, and unsystematic risk, which is company-specific risk. On the other hand, the trainer ratio specifically focuses on systematic risk, which is the risk that affects the entire market. This makes it particularly useful for evaluating diversified portfolios or comparing the performance of portfolio managers who are measured against a benchmark. So when should you use each ratio? If you're looking at a single investment or a portfolio that's not well diversified, the sharp ratio might be a better choice. But if you're evaluating a diversified portfolio or comparing the performance of different portfolio managers, the trainer ratio can give you a clearer picture of their risk-adjusted performance. Section 4. Calculating the trainer ratio, a step-by-step -step guide. Now that you understand the concept, let's get down to the nitty-gritty of calculating the trainer ratio. Step 1. Gather your data. You'll need the following information. The average return of your investment, the risk-free rate of return, and the beta of your investment. Step 2. Apply the formula. The trainer ratio formula is trainer ratio equals sign, average portfolio return, risk-free rate, portfolio beta. Step 3. Plug in the numbers and calculate. Let's say your investment had an average return of 8%, the risk-free rate was 2%, and your portfolio beta was 1.5. Trainer ratio equals sign 0 0.08, 0 0.02, 1.5 equals sign 0 0.04. Step 4. Interpret your result. In this example, the trainer ratio is 0.04 or 4%. This means that for every unit of systematic risk you took on, you earned an extra 4% return above the risk-free rate. By following these simple steps, you can easily calculate the trainer ratio and gain valuable insights into the risk-adjusted performance of your investments.